In this video, we're gonna be talking about staying, living, and visiting El Poblado, Medellin, Colombia. I'm gonna tell you the truth and what you need to know about the area. I don't live in that area, but I have been living in Medellin for 10 months. I have a list of notes about some things that are pros or cons, and then from there you can make your determining factor if when you come to visit, live, or stay in Medellin, if you want to live in Poblado, or if you want to live in a variety of different parts that are available to you. If you Google search Medellin, visiting Medellin, vacation Medellin, some of the first options or locations you're gonna see is Provenza or Poblado. Those are like the areas people know about most. Probably following that will be Laurelis, um, but I'm gonna tell you about you know my pros and cons about Poblado. Now look, Poblado is nice. Poblado is not bad. Uh, but there are pros and cons, and I don't stay in Poblado. I personally don't even care for Poblado, um, and I'm gonna tell you why with a list of these reasons right here. I will say the first three times I came to Medellin, and they were all between like, you know, a week to like a two and a half week stay, I stayed in the Poblado Provenza area. So we'll start with the, uh, the pros first. The first thing, and this could be either a pro or a con, it could be that there's foreigners. So if you wanna see other people that look like you, talk like you, dress like you, and are like you, then you know the chances of you seeing them in you know, Poblado, Provenza, Laurelis area is higher than none. You're not gonna see them in areas like Sabaneta or Berlin or Envigado, you know, areas like Sabaneta, uh, Itagui, um, Envigado, you're not gonna see any foreigners and personally that's what i like i don't want to see a bunch of foreigners i don't want to hear people talking english because i'm in the process and journey of learning spanish i've been learning spanish for about like you know seriously for about like eight or nine months i've seen a lot of improvement and uh you know hearing a bunch of um Spe English isn't going to be beneficial to me. I want to be immersed in the culture. So when there's a bunch of tourists and a bunch of foreigners, you know, it kind of takes away from the opportunity to be immersed in the culture. So you will see foreigners. That's either a pro or a con. The next thing is you're going to hear more English than you would in any other parts of the city. Like I said, Sabaneta, Itagui, Envigado, um, you know, even Lorellis, really Poblado is really the only place you're gonna hear people speaking English. If you go to restaurants, if you go to stores, if you go to other places and other parts of town in Medellin or Colombia, you're not gonna hear people uh, speak English, especially other cities. Like I've been to a few other cities and people speaking English. I would say the people who could speak English at a fluent percent is less than 5% in the entire country. It might even be lower than that. So, but if you want, if you don't speak a lick of English, when I first came here uh, to Colombia, I didn't speak a lick of English more than hola and como estas. Now, if I go to a restaurant, now if I'm talking to a taxi driver, I can like more or less defend myself. My Spanish isn't great, I'm not conversational, but I can kind of, you know, move around and do what I'm trying to do. Uh, I still have like an assistant if you guys need an assistant like sometimes and that's something that I want to work away from needing But if I'm trying to do things like with my motorcycle that I bought and stuff like that Then I have an assistant who speaks both languages But if you don't speak a word or lick of English having some having a um, Having a location where you can get some You know English speakers can be convenient because having to pull out Google Translate uh, is super annoying and super inconvenient. The next thing is there's things to do in Poblado or the Provenza area. It's kind of like the same area, just divided up by like a few different streets, but there's restaurants, there's things to do, there's bars, there's places to go out at night. And you know, that's what you're gonna see a lot of. There's a lot of partying, there's a lot of people going out, there's a lot of restaurants, there's a lot of people to, places to meet up with people and have a good time. Um, but we're gonna talk about the cons, right? And this is kind of why I don't stay in the Poblado area. Um, is it nice? Yes. Are there nice apartments? Yes. Is there uh, great restaurants? Yes. Are there um, a lot of, it's, it's not a bad area, right? But these are the reasons why I choose not to stay there. The first thing are the prices. So because everybody knows about Poblado, Provenza, and, um, and everybody, that's like, if, if someone says, hey, I'm going to Medellin and they've never been here before, they don't live here, they're nine times out of 10, gonna stay in either El Poblado or Laurelis, but probably El Poblado. So the prices are crazy. I mean, if you go on Airbnb, 
you're gonna pay at least a hundred dollars a night and you know a hundred dollars a night will get you more than what it would get you in the states like a hundred dollars a night in el poblado will get you maybe a two or three bedroom apartment a hundred dollars a night in miami will probably get you a bedroom so you will get more for your money but you know and even i'm paying too high but i'm paying forty dollars a night uh, 1200 a month basically for a two bed two and a half bath uh, all utilities included furnished on the 20th floor and in a very convenient location so you you're gonna be paying way more for drinks for food for anything you want to do if you're in the El Poblado area you're gonna be getting taxed and you're gonna be getting you're gonna be paying more because people basically adjust their prices to foreigners tourists and you know people who have other currencies that are not pesos when you transfer other currencies into pesos that's why living in a country like colombia is really uh an advantage because the money goes so far the next thing is robberies right and just a feeling of safety i don't live in um i don't live in el poblado but the times that i was there i always felt like i was in more danger than i was where i live now like where i live now I might go a whole week, I might go two weeks without seeing a foreigner, an American, or hearing anybody talk English, but that's fine because I can, you know, I'm decent with, I'm not decent, I'm like, I don't know, I'd say maybe 20% of, I know Spanish, um, so I'm not looking for people to speak English. It is refreshing, I will say, like when I hear somebody talking English, but I will say like, I can remember when I stayed in El Poblado area, I just felt like more, danger i always felt like and you can't walk around with another con it's very very hilly where i live it's all flat but if you go like over in the el poblado area it's very hilly you can't just walk outside and walk around because you're walking up like steep steep hills and then if you do decide to do that it always just feels like because there's cars going so fast around all those turns and hills and curves and motorcycles it just feels like you're like a target right it feels like somebody on the next motorcycle or the next car is going to stop pull over point a gun at me and try to rob me i never have that feeling i can walk inside the neighborhoods where you know the, the different areas like you know uh like that's kind of where i live like over there i can walk around those streets well this is where i live in the building i'm in right now but that's like you know an area i could live in i mean i could walk in and i never have any um problems i never feel unsafe now what i do it at nine o'clock at night that's you know you know subject to how you want to take it but in Poblado, i always feel like i'm like a walking target especially me being tall especially me looking like a foreigner people can tell and i've i've never had a feeling in others in other parts of town like Laurelis or sabinette i never feel um in danger at all but in those areas like el poblado i feel like people are like hunting for foreigners and you always hear about robberies you always hear about people um getting robbed in those areas but in areas that you know aren't filled with tourists you know the, the people that are going to rob people don't look in those areas so it's super it doesn't feel as safe in all honesty um and it is you know there's a lot of hills the next and there's also high prices the next stuff that's kind of annoying like i just went out to like an american bar called patrick's in like near park at Jettis basically two nights ago uh with my friends to watch the nba finals game and it's the one thing that i don't miss about that stuff is there's always people selling you stuff if you want someone to come up with you up to you with a microphone and start rapping and they say hey man i'm not interested no thanks or gracias they'll just keep going or they'll just beat you down until you um buy something whether it's you know candy whether it's you know cigarettes what whatever it is they're always selling stuff and i've heard it's worse in cartagena but it's kind of annoying like when you tell people no and they just keep persisting and persisting um or or asking for money or you know or begging and stuff like that like when you go to other parts of medellin that aren't filled with like with just a tourist area you know you'll see you don't see that stuff so selling stuff is kind of annoying and people begging for money and people always asking you to buy stuff or for donations like when you tell them no they think that means yes um we talked about high high prices robbery selling stuff it's very noisy right especially if you're like in the provenza park Jettis area i'm talking two three four five in the morning you're gonna hear music you're gonna hear people screaming you're gonna hear people talking you know i'm not talking you're gonna hear noise like it's not quiet like you know that is one thing that you know i don't love about the city and that's probably why i'll move outside the city slightly uh next year um 
because it's, it's very noisy, there's a lot of traffic, but especially in that area, if you have an Airbnb right on the strip like Kajou 10, you're gonna be hearing noise all night until probably five, six in the morning. And there's always, you know, clubs bumping music. So it's a very loud, it's not a quiet, peaceful area. If you know, if you leave the city and go to like Retiro or John Grande, and you know, those are places I'm thinking about maybe moving, maybe Retiro, not sure, but it's completely at peace. You don't hear, you won't hear anything. Um, and then the next thing and the last thing that I think if you're gonna if you're gonna stay here for like a week or two weeks, speak no Spanish, you know, maybe Poblado will be a good area. But the one thing that I would really urge people to do, and this is what I'm glad I'm doing, is I have the real Colombian experience, right? Like I live where there are no Spanish speakers. I live where it's very cheap. Like I could go get a plate of food right now. I'm gonna go get a plate of food right now for like 10 to 15,000 Colombian pesos, which is like two to three bucks or like two to, 350 or four dollars right when you go to those when you go to that el poblado area you're not going to pay fifteen thousand dollars fifteen thousand pesos for a full plate of food i'm talking you know chicken rice salad plantains um and some you know glass of water or a glass of juice that's not going to happen you're going to pay full price you're going to pay 15 20 bucks um so they really tailor the prices to tourists foreigners americans um but that's what i would say i would say if you're here for maybe a week or two Poblado, if you want and if you could avoid Poblado, go to Lorelis. But if you're really, you know, if you're really eager and you're an adventurer, go to Sabaneta. Sabaneta is very like tranquilo, as they say it. Sabaneta, Itagui, um, Envigado, uh, Lorelis, um, and then basically anything that I found, anything above like the El Poblado area all the way up to Bejo, I would avoid personally. But there you guys have it. If you guys have any questions or want any sort of types of videos, be sure to drop them in the comments below. It looks like it's gonna rain, but it literally hasn't rained like a serious Medellin style rainstorm where it rains and like floods everything in, it's gotta be over a month. So it looks like it's gonna rain, but I don't think it's gonna rain today. It hasn't rained um, in probably a few weeks. So there you guys have it. If you guys have any questions, be sure to drop them down below, drop a like, drop a subscribe. See you guys later, peace.